Which of the following expressions represents the volume of the cylinder below? Recall that the volume of a cylinder is equals to the area of the circle, area of the circle times the height. Now we know the area of a circle. Area of a circle is going to be pi r squared. So this here is going to be pi r squared, and the height is the height. What is r? The radius is going to be from the middle to the side, which is exactly 1 half of 2x plus 4. So essentially, the volume of the cylinder is equals to pi r squared, where r our value is half of 2x plus 4, so it's going to be x plus 2, times the h. The h value is given as 3x minus 1. Now I see that in all the answers provided, we have pi factored out. So I'm going to leave pi alone, and I'm going to work out uh, this part here. So let's work on this part first using the FOIL. So we have pi times, so x times x is going to be x squared. And then we're going to do x times 2 is going to be 2x, and we double it to get 4x. And then for the last part, we do the last number times the last number, which is 2 times 2 is positive 4, multiplied by 3x minus 1. And once again, I have pi, pi left out there, so I'm just going to leave it all alone. I'm going to work on distributing these things here. So I'm going to go this times this is going to be 3x cubed. This times this is going to be 3 times 4 is positive 12x squared. And then 3x times positive 4 is going to be 3 times 4 is 12x. Now I'm going to go negative 1 times x squared is going to be negative x squared. Negative 1 times positive 4x is going to be negative 4x. Negative 1 times positive 4 is going to be negative 4. This is where I look at all the exponents of 3, which is only one term, so it's just left alone. Now let's try to combine like terms. We have the x squared, so I have a positive 12x squared, and then I have a negative x squared. So this becomes, this is equals to, so we have a 3x cubed, positive 12, negative 1, becomes a positive 11x squared, and then I have a nice positive 12x here, and I have a negative 4x here. So the positive 12x and the negative 4x becomes a positive 8x. And finally, I have the number negative 4. So when I try looking at the choices available, this is not right, this is not right, and I have a positive 11x squared, plus 8x minus 4. C is the correct answer.